What's it like to move in Phnom Penh, Cambodia? Watch this video to find out. Hello, Eric Simon and William here. And we are getting ready to move out of this big, lovely apartment that we have here in Russian Market. And so it occurs to me that maybe some people would want to know what's it like to move from one place to another within uh, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And so we're going to show you. And the first thing that we have to do is, oh, we, William's excited to move. The first thing that we need to do is buy some boxes so that we can pack everything up to move. We're going to be using a service called Cambodia Expat Services and they're going to bring the boxes that we've ordered and they're also going to move everything onto the truck later and then move everything from the truck to our new apartment. So we're moving from Russian Market to a place in BKK1 uh, and so we're just really looking forward to the move and we're looking forward to taking you with us through the experience. Hello. Hello. You can see that they have uh, brought all the boxes here, strapped to the top of a tuk-tuk. So convenient. Okay, 26.25. Okay, all right, good, thank you. All right, well, I guess we'll get this off the roof. You just put them in the elevator and I'll do the rest. Alcun, thank you. Very good. Look how easy that was. So now that I've got the boxes wrangled, uh, in the next few days, it's going to be time to start packing up. When we moved into this place, all of the light bulbs were horrible fluorescent lights that hurt the eyes, so I spent about $100 on nice warm LEDs. Now that we're moving out, I'm taking my LEDs back and we're putting in their horrible fluorescent bulbs. The day is finally here, the day that the movers will come and move us into the new apartment. Uh, we're just waiting for them to arrive, uh, about an hour and a half till they're supposed to be here. Everything has been packed into this one corner right here in front of the big floor to ceiling window. This room here is basically ready uh, except for I still have to disassemble the crib because it won't fit out the door so it's the last thing now that we have to do. 
and we also have the bedroom, which has nothing now except for like the cat water and litter box. Other than taking apart the crib, I'd say we have about 10 to 15 minutes of packing left to do in the last 90 minutes. And I always try to have everything ready because I have helped people move. And one thing that I hate is when you get there and they're not even packed. You know, you get there and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to pack while... Uh, while well, you help me move, you move the boxes and I'll continue packing. I'm not going to do that to these people. I am going to have it ready for them. And yeah, before long we'll be moving into our new home. And now the uh, Cambodian movers have arrived and you can see that they have in 15 minutes moved very quickly uh, and shunting stuff here uh, outdoors, get ready to move it uh, into the elevator. And so, very rapidly, uh, they're moving us. So far, worth every penny of the $100 that we're paying them. And so, now all we have left is mostly just this pile of stuff right here, plus the, the small pile of stuff right here that we're going to be taking in the car, including the cat that is going to go in there. And here's the whole team going and loading everything into the elevator. And now the fine folks at Cambodia Expat Services are putting everything inside this container right here. Okay, it's a, it's like a little truck, but it is being hauled by a simple 125cc motorcycle. Now, this may surprise you if you haven't spent much time in Cambodia, but as a person who lived in Cambodia, this is exactly what you would expect them to take. You would expect that they would be taking just a one cylinder 125 cc motorcycle and hauling uh, thousands of kilos of stuff which is what they do all the time here so it's really cool and they're gonna load everything we have right here into this one truck And there's all of our worldly possessions outside of the United States. And it's all going to be hauled by this single motorcycle. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Well, goodbye, MSK Apartments. Nice place to live, nice neighborhood, highly recommended. There goes our house. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> and now, here they are bringing everything into the rooms. And here comes all the stuff. Ah, oh, they're so nice there, this company. So now everything has been moved in to the different rooms. We have stuff in the kitchen and we have stuff in William's room and we have stuff in our room and CES did a great job. And thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate it. And you did a great job. When we move again, we'll call you again. Yeah, yeah. If you need anything else, tell me. Of course, we will. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Cambodia Expat Services, highly recommended. Thank you so much. Now it's three days later and everything is set up in the apartment. Everything is complete, everything's ready, and now it feels like home. So let me show you what it looks like now that it's all done. And here it is, our apartment with everything set up. This is the living room and it's really big, as you can see. In fact, the whole apartment is big. There's 130 square meters or about 1,400 square feet of space. You know, it's nice to have our decorations up we got a, a nice little uh, balcony here where we can just kind of sit out and look over everything. See they're building a brand new high rise right there. But not a bad little view from the balcony. Saimai's favorite part is the kitchen. It's got plenty of space 
Uh, we especially like the stove, which is gas. Gas is important, but this back burner right here on the back left is electric in case you run out. So it's always nice to have that little backup. So pretty good sized kitchen for Samai because she's always cooking constantly. The windows are big and they open up all the way. We actually put a, a baby gate right here, um, like you put on a wall so William doesn't climb up off the couch here and fall off and die. And you've just got this great flow through. This is so important in Southeast Asia, the flow through. So you don't have to blow all your money on air conditioning all the time. Anyway, there it is. And then over here, we've got William's room. It looks pretty nice, I think. You can play in there all he wants. And then we've got this hallway, which is two meters or six feet wide, believe it or not. So plenty of space there for souvenirs from travels around the world. There's a story behind every one of these. There's our newest souvenir right there. That's our kite that we got in Bali, just kind of hanging out there. Then this is our bedroom. We haven't really decorated it yet, but. Closets have a ton of storage space. We have these chairs, I don't know what to do with those. We have this bathroom that we almost never use because it's got a tub and not a shower. But it's pretty nice. Second bathroom with uh, laundry. But yeah, that's our new place and that is what it is like to move in Phnom Penh, Cambodia from one place to another. It's cheap. It's easy, so don't be afraid to do it. If you enjoyed this video though, please like, subscribe, and feel free to comment. I'll often comment back. Have a great day.